What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Neek, King, Lena. They going through it. All right, let's get it. And it is 325, because some sometimes y'all be like, Neek, you sleepy? Neek, you... It's 3 o'clock in the morning. But we're going to get into it. I don't care. Neek blocked Lena and posted a video titled I'm Fed Up after Lena tweet a BB fed the F up for real. So Neek supporters were coming at Lena and King after they forgot to get Kaiser the outfit for their engagement party. So Neek had to end up buying the outfit. And she said that in her recent blog. So people were coming at Lena and King, which caused Lena to go live. And she said that Neek's mom actually forgot the outfit that was supposed to be worn for the engagement party. So Neek actually dropped a video titled I'm Fed Up and she was explaining this. I didn't know until the day of when my mom was already on on the way to Houston that that it was a, even a party going on. So I wasn't aware of any of any nothing. And my mom didn't think too much about it because she was only told two weeks prior that, oh, I'm bringing Kaiser to a party. And then called that morning asking and reminding her about pants that she had already left in Louisiana. So it was never uh, no, uh, no uh, oh. Hold on, hold on. What? told two weeks prior that, oh, I'm bringing Kaiser to a party. And then called that morning, asking and reminding her about pants that she had already left in Louisiana. So it was never no, oh, a specific outfit. No outfit was ever bought for Kaiser. And I did try to do my best with what I had and the time I had to get him an outfit in order for him to go. So I hate when people try to make it seem like, oh, I'm lying or I'm trying to rain on somebody's parade or I see somebody happy and this and the third. That was never the case. Lena went live and she responded. Here's what she had to say. It was about me and King. Yes, the girls were there. Yes, Kaiser was there. But me, I was not focused on my girls. Their outfit was already in the closet. I didn't go out and do the most and get them this most spectacular outfit and get their hair done. No, their outfit was in the closet. Be why? Because they're going to be on the floor getting dirty playing. Kaiser lives in Louisiana with his grandmother, not with Neek, with his grandmother. Okay. King communicated with Jacinda two weeks in advance. Hey, do you have some black sl slacks and a white button up shirt for him because we're having a party and we want him there. She I wouldn't have never asked him for no slacks and, and, and a button up shirt because I wouldn't have wanted to deal with this shit right here. First of all, <laughs> I already know that I'm going to need it. I know he's going to need it. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I just need him here. You get what I'm saying? So if the situation is he had to come there or grandma was bringing him there, bet I already got his fit. So yeah, that's that was mistake number one for sure. He said, yeah, I do because he goes to church. He's like, okay, cool. Checklist. He has an outfit. Can you bring it for him when you bring him to Houston? The day of, and you know what? That's our fault. We should have not even asked her, do you have black slacks? Okay, the lesson was learned. And a white button up. We should have just got it for him. Even Absolutely. if he was going to come or not come, we should have just got it for him. We Baby, it's slacks. King is in Japan. It's slacks. Slacks and a button up. I wouldn't have thought nothing about it. I would have thought of it like a $20 Chipotle bow. For real. Let me go ahead and knock that out. Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with you. None of y'all. You know what I'm saying? We should have not asked. And yeah, I will say that's our fault. Like next time Good. going forward, we would not ask if he has this at that house or whatever the case thing. could be. Because it just turns into this whole big commotion for nothing. Yep. So the day of when she's driving to Houston, she tells King like, hey, I forgot the clothes. And it's the day of the party. I have appointments. Mind you, I was 40 minutes late to my appointment. Like we had no time to go to the store and go pick him up an outfit. And she was... That's because the outfit should have already been bought. But we, we, she, she learned the lesson. We're going to Heading to Neek's house anyways. And then, um, so I guess Neek found out the day of, stop speaking on his kid. No, I'm going to speak on whatever I want to speak on because y'all dragged me into the situation talking about, you're a stepmom, you should do better, this and that. Why didn't you make sure he had an outfit, but you made sure. My girls had an outfit that was already in their closet. The, the outfit they had on was already in their closet. So yeah, when Neek made the video talking about, oh, she found out the day of because she didn't know about the engagement party. Yeah, you didn't know because 
King don't communicate with you because you don't be with Kaiser. King communicates with Jacinda because Jacinda is the one that takes care of Kaiser. So that's why you found out the day of because your mom forgot the outfit in Louisiana. That was already an agreement is to not talk about us in your videos. We won't talk about you. She had already came to me not too long ago. She came to the both of us and was like, hey, can you not speak about Kaiser's school situation? Because they was bashing her for her not being with Kaiser during school. And I was like, yeah, cool. I completely like I, you know, I apologize. I didn't mean for it to like I meant no harm when I was saying certain things and since then I haven't spoke about his school situation but then you're gonna say what you said in your video like we let you know last minute when that wasn't the case your mom knew already that we was having a party and that she was supposed to bring him these type of clothes and then you're gonna use the engagement party as a title in your video okay So what I'm understanding is the mother took Kaiser to this party, which clearly it's an engagement party, and she was supposed to have him some slacks and a button up, but clearly it sounds as though she forgot. And she was driving from Louisiana because clearly that wasn't a plane because it seems like it was a running late situation. So... With that being said, Neek would have had to been reached out to if y'all didn't have the outfit or if the mom didn't have the outfit. Because it's likely for her to forget, I mean, especially if it's just a lot going on. And you know, when you get in that car and you hop on that road, baby, if it ain't, <laughs> if I left it, I left it. You know what I'm saying? It's there. And maybe she wasn't thinking about that. So she had to contact Neek if y'all didn't have time to purchase an outfit. So then it's like, I don't care. I still want him to come. So now Neek has to go purchase an outfit. You know what I'm saying? Which if I were Neek, his ass would have been with me. I ain't going to cap to you. I don't like little bullshit like this. Like if we got a beef over food, if we got a beef over small items, Especially if we share a son, like, mm -mm. because I don't want these issues. So if I were king, I would have went and picked him up. I would have, I would have went and picked Kaiser up. I would have went and had his outfit ready. Um, and he would have already been with me. Then we wouldn't even had had his prom. You know what I'm saying? But you know, there's lessons he got to learn. I bet he won't do this shit again. Well, I, I hope he don't. Hope he don't. You know what I'm saying? When it's like, no, like it just, we both know how people react and how fans react to certain things that are said in videos. That 333 in the chat, y'all can't control what the fans say. I, I still don't get that part. Uh, not that I don't say anything about whoever's saying something, but it's like, if y'all know certain things aren't happening after a while, like certain things just aren't happening, you know? That's why we had already agreed on don't. All right, y'all, one thing about it, two things for sure. Y'all wanted me to teach you about YouTube, so here we go. Listen, y'all want to learn how to do YouTube. I think you all should learn how to do YouTube or content creation in general. But in order for you to do so, you have to know what you're doing. Now, these are only three ebooks that I'm just now starting off with, but I'm going to have a plethora for y'all in a minute. But Faceless Instagram Guide is the first one streaming riches equipment package is me showing y'all all of my streaming equipment for um my setup and the canva playbook teaches you how to use canva canva is used for all kinds of things editing flyers um intros outros uh thumbnails it's gonna teach you a thing too okay so if y'all want it tap in i only got them right now for 19.99 ain't gonna hurt nobody burger and a little fry these days even from mcdonald's it's 20 dollars. okay um don't add a drink and an apple pie yeah it's going about 30 but yeah tap in man but in the meantime in between time enjoy the video link in the pinned comment don't speak about us we won't speak about you we won't speak about kaiser's school situation that way you don't get bashed mm, bad. and it just keeps the peace going right but then you did that and then it's like it downfalls on our engagement party that was about us it wasn't about the kids it wasn't about no damn outfits the engagement party was about us i had already texted her prior I wait a minute <laughs> hold on mama. 
And it's like, it downfalls on our engagement party that was about us. It wasn't about the kids. It wasn't about no damn outfits. The engagement party was about us. Okay. This is where I got to disagree with Lena. Because if the engagement, if the engagement party was about y'all, it really didn't matter if Kaiser was there or not, to be honest with you. If this was a we celebrating us, the kids being there wasn't important. And that's okay. Sometimes mama need a break, daddy need a break too. However, I wouldn't have even made all this issue for this party if this was about us. So Kaiser can stay with his motherfucking grandma. And grandma wouldn't have had to drive all them goddamn hours then we wouldn't be having this issue with this miscommunication on the outfit. It we wouldn't none of this would even matter. Like I had already texted her prior. I texted her a couple of days ago and it I'm very mature. When I text her, I'm a very mature person. I keep it a hundred, like I'm not disrespectful. I don't call her out her name. And it's just getting to the point where it's like, yeah, like this shit is just mad annoying. And then to make another YouTube video talking about I lie, I didn't lie. Nobody fucking lied at all. The problem is for Easter, I bought him and his sister a matching shirt um, because he was supposed to be f with us for Easter. But plans always get switched around on their end and they never let anybody know until the last minute. So I went out, bought them matching stuff and he couldn't even come with us. Like he wasn't even with us for Easter. So I'm like okay, we're going to buy him an outfit for the party and then plans get switched around and they're last minute, oh yeah, we're actually in Florida or something because that's how it be. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ain't no way in the fuck. <laughs> I know y'all ain't counting that like that. No, this is petty. Th this is petty. First of all, Neek damn sure ain't broke. I know ain't no way in hell King broke he over there in Japan with the Muay Thai going on. He's living his best life. He just proposed to you. Y'all just went out of town again. You know, y'all have an engagement party. So that means we can afford a $50 outfit. So a quick little $20 to $50 outfit. That's all it's going to cost a little Kaiser. Ain't too much. At the most, $100. Right? Why are we counting outfits? You know that's petty. <laughs> like, we got him something for Easter and he ain't even show. He couldn't show up, so we... Couldn't give him the outfit. I mean, it, he'll come. He can wear that then. You get what I'm saying? It may not count for Easter, but he'll still have an outfit. So now it's like, if we buy him this outfit and they don't come, he'll still be able to wear it when he comes. You know what I'm saying? It may not be that day, but he'll be able to wear it. And we can take it back. If he don't come, we can take it back. But to not have the confusion and all the frustration, let me go ahead and buy it for, to, to alleviate some drama. You know what I'm saying? And then we bought an outfit for no reason. They weren't, you guys see, we didn't even get any pictures with them. We were so busy having so much fun and interacting with people and like just enjoying our moment. It wasn't about the kids for once. Every single day that I wake up, I'm always focused on my kids. Always. I'm 100% with my kids on top of the kids. When Kaiser comes over, I'm making sure he has a good time with us. When I'm making Mama sure I plan do. some events, do painting with him, do a, uh, what did I do last? A camping night. Like, I make you sure. You signed up for it. It's a package and shit. Make sure the kids have fun. This event was specifically for me and King. So for it. Like, no, them kids shouldn't have been there. Mm -mm. What it sounds like to me is y'all, <laughs> not, not, and I don't mean inconvenience. And I'm, I, so I'm not speaking on king's sake it's how she's saying it if i were neek that would have pissed me off because first of all you inconveniencing my mama my mama did not have to bring him if this was about y'all so if this is about y'all have at it shit it would be about me too it sound like to me fuck them kids for the weekend Bet you know what i'm saying fuck them kids sound like lana need a break all that right Fuck them kids. So we're going to have this party for us. Kaza would have been with his grandmother. Period. If I ain't going to get them, I know it'll be an issue if I ask for you to bring them. And if you do bring them, first of all, let's talk about how she did bring them. It was no appreciation on her bringing them. You know what I'm saying? Because she didn't have to do that. So I just, you know, where would the appreciation be for her bringing him? You know, and normally when King and Neek do this back and forth shit, I say who wrong on both sides, period. So I never choose sides with them. They both be just 
they, this shit be so petty because they just be aggravated with each other for real. You know what I'm saying? So we can't count outfits, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way. Not when you my son. Hell to the gnaw. He'll get it when he get here type shit. Mm -mm. And then if this was about y'all, them kids, all of them would be the fuck away from me. Okay. It to be turned around into Kaiser not having an outfit. Kaiser did have an outfit. He had an outfit in advance. We asked, but yeah, going forward, it's just so annoying and it's just upsetting. And I hate to, um, there's and no yeah, accountability here at all. Uh, well, that's a lie. She did say that they'll never do that again, but it's, it's more. It's more. He texted Neek. I already texted Neek all this. Me and Neek already didn't end up on a good note the last time she texted me because she's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm I'm like so fed up with everything that it's like it is what it is. Like I don't even care. I've been this nice person. Keep it cordial. Keep it respectful. But yeah, I texted her privately. That's why I'm on here now because I've been texting her privately. I said what I had to say and she wanted to be disrespectful and start to call people names and stuff when that's yeah, no. I ain't gonna lie, cause it's not your place. So you know, I, I, you don't know, but I help co-parent as well. Certain things and certain times and certain situations ain't your business. I, I don't feel like this is for her to discuss for real. I, I really don't. I understand that they brought you in it fan wise, but this is a definitely a Neek and King. I wouldn't even stress myself out with this shit, and I, I probably cause people saying that um. Like, she's the woman, why didn't she get the shit in order? But as a woman, I definitely would have just been like, let's go ahead and get the outfit. And I don't give a fuck what he talking about. You can be as petty as you want to be. But guess what? Since I don't want no drama. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and get the outfit. Matter of fact, why we ain't go get them? So, y'all, completely inconvenienced Neek Mama. <laughs> and then it was like, yeah, appreciate you bringing them and shit, but bitch, you forgot the outfit. So now, no, we ain't got time. Neek, you got to do it. Neek, like, bitch, I got shit to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's that simple. And it turns into drama. Like, yeah. It is what it is. Going forward, we won't be asking, you know, if he Wait. has pants and a shirt <clears throat> at his grandma's house or whatever. Like, we just going to get it. Because all this is so stupid and it just gets... Um, bigger than what it needs to and yeah people be knowing what the fuck they doing i'm sorry people be knowing i'm a female myself i which sounds like you would be knowing too you knew this shit was gonna happen i all in the back of my mind i would have been like i don't really want to got down we're gonna go ahead and get the outfit they probably had a debate about it too like should we get the outfit definitely should have got the outfit people be knowing and King, this, he be trying to be the bigger petty. person. Like, I'm here speaking because I'm better at speaking. King be trying and to be and the that bigger is person. True. He always go to her. He always talk to her about this, that, and the third. But he be fed up, too. Like, it's like only so much we can do. Like, you're using King and my engagement party in your title. Like, no, we already said we're not doing none of that no more. Like, that phase of life is over. Like, no. Because that's how everything... It's like every time something get mentioned about us in one of your videos... It always come back to us in a negative way. Never, ever in a positive Damn. way. Always in a negative way. Y'all can't Keep control the, the damn house. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. That's exactly what I was trying to do. But it got brought to the internet. Then people started to bash us. Then I texted her privately. And then she blocked me. And yeah, so here I am. Because another video was made, posted on her channel. And people are coming at me. People don't even be coming at King. People be coming at me. Like, I'm the one who had the baby with her. Like, King is the one who made this baby with her. Why do y'all be coming at me? Lena's this, Lena this. Like, what? Like, what the fuck do I gotta do? Yeah, because you the woman of the house. That's all. You the woman of the house. Certain things you just kind of know. Like, King know before he go outside, he gotta grab the ratchet. You know what I'm saying? He gotta make sure his girls are okay. He gotta make sure his fiance is okay that's his job to think about and your job is to think about the outfits for uh easter think about the outfits for yeah all that <laughs> but since you wasn't in a, a kid moment which you have the right to not be that baby would have been with his granny for sure
too. This is why I am. Damn, we ain't even had time to take pictures, nothing. Not only that, I, I completely understand this was about the moment. But it was about the moment for y'all. Which still doesn't include neither one of the children. So, fuck them kids is fuck them kids. <laughs> Insert myself because y'all be coming at me. And to be honest, yeah, this is the first time where I'm actually, like, defending myself because it's, it's annoying. Like, this is my engagement era, fiancé era. This was our engagement party. Like, it was about nobody else but us. Oh, girl, we're going to get into all of them because, um... Nick dropped the video too. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below because that's all I got. Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.